Hello, good afternoon, welcome back regular viewer, loyal subscriber to Hard Space Shipbreaker by Blackbird Interactive. Um, before we get started on our salvage today, uh, I wanted to pop into equipment, thruster upgrades and just grab the slightly stronger braking jet, which I don't think anybody would uh, say I wasn't entitled to at this stage after slamming my face repeatedly into the master jack. Well, let's just uh, go and have a look at what we've got in ship grade 6. We have a refueling javelin, we have an exolab mackerel, light cargo mackerel and a station hopper mackerel. The exolabs are quite nice, that's 2.8 million value. And the uh, javelin, I think we'll do another mackerel, we'll do the uh, exolab today. Um, and uh, after that we'll try another javelin uh, for next time. Right, can we light the processor please? Thank you. Alright, let's look at this beastie. What do we have? We have this uh, front grill plate on here. Which we can take off first, I think. No need to wait. Certainly one at the bottom there. Oh yeah, we've got fins and gills on this one, like some giant piranha fish. to take those down. And we do have... Salvage deposit accepted. Credits transferred. Just one of those there. What I'm going to do... Airlock pressure levels increasing. Alright. My thought is, if I cycle this close to begin with, and then I open it... Airlock pressure levels dropping. ...that it kind of resets the system, so it won't leave me with them. Um, because this should now close. Airlock pressure levels open. increasing. Okay, so that's 
salmon over there. Gonna eject the thruster. Air pressure level decreasing. So I um I ejected the thruster there, forgetting, of course, that I was in a pressurised environment, and uh, that could have been very bad. So I rather quickly changed my mind and depressurised the environment. Oh, God. Get out of the way. It's very cramped in here. I don't know how anybody could have worked in here. What a mess. Right. What I'm going to do, I'm going to take the uh, head off to begin with. Salvage secured. Credits deposited. So let's take it to the furnace. Salvage secured. Account credit applied. Valuable object processed. Credits awarded. These mattresses are. Salvage deposit accepted. Credits transferred. Warning. Your oxygen reserves are dropping below statistically profitable levels. Right, Salvage secured. Credits deposited. Try the new brakes out. Very nice. Oxygen level stabilizing. Let's get this old thruster out while we're here. A bit more external work is always good. Salvage 
Just trying to push the uh, floor out here. If that wasn't immediately obvious. It's going to eat into my fuel a little bit. It's coming. Just very slowly. Oh, look at that. Open up a window to uh, glimpse the green blue earth below. This isn't coming out as cleanly as I was hoping. Cutter, there's five minutes remaining in this shift. Get in while the getting's good. We wrap. Oh well. Warning. Fuel levels are low. Fuel supplies are available for purchase at the Master Jack. Yeah, that hasn't actually done what I Salvage wanted it to. Secured. Never mind. Account credit applied. This is stuck on something. Seemingly nothing now. Salvage secured. Credits deposited. Let's shift that, so let's move on to the next one. So maybe if that last one won't go, this one will go a bit easier. That really is wedged in there tight. Processing valuable objects. Credits okay. awarded. Just in 
not the light. time we wasted 400 kilos of furnace material I'm trying to get this out so what we'll do we'll just uh, look, remove the control panel to begin with that's processor that's all processor It's just going to have to wait until next time. A million pound day, that's kind of our uh, benchmark, isn't it? So, uh, let's take a sip of coffee. Oh, that's good. Okay. New certification level Hooray. awarded. License upgraded. We've unlocked a few more upgrades we can uh, now pay our precious money for, but we don't have many Lynx tokens. <laughs> So we're just going to have to earn a few more. Let's just see what the message is. Educational links, educational material. Do you enjoy your life today? Do you see hope on Mars or on Jupiter? Do you want to forget about the burning and aridification of Earth and focus on the future? Thank Exeter Paulson for his vision and for your chance at a happy life. Valuable object processed. Credits awarded. How are we doing? The front has separated and gone upwards. I suspect because when I've been yanking this about, it's been moving the whole structure. I think I'm going to have to remove these side panels. Anyway. Let's get that out of the way. Processing valuable object. Credits awarded. Secured. Credits deposited. Salvage gained. Credits awarded. Oops. Perhaps I shouldn't have taken that off. Never mind. Salvage secured. Account credit applied. So let's see if by um, removing some of these internal con uh, struts here, we can loosen the wow, so many power cores.
stop now, thank you. Whoops. Okay, in my hurry to uh, evacuate the inside of the ship, I forgot to re-evacuate the airlock again, so uh, that explosively decompressed. Otherwise, I think we're okay. No harm, no foul, right? Salvage secured. Credits deposited. It does seem to have loosened that somewhat, so that's good. So now, can I get that over there? It's just turning the whole ship. It's just wedged in there. It's, uh, I've not seen it done like that before. Never mind. Salvage secured. Account credit applied. Right, let's get these um, nice cells off. down to the barge too, no doubt. Off you go. Salvage deposit accepted. Credits transferred. Nobody likes being out of fuel. Can I stop, please? Welcome okay. to Vendetron 9000. Thank fuel you for your fuel levels restored. problem. But still, no harm, no foul. Again. Let's just pop these out, I think. slice this mount off, but because most of this is going to the uh, barge, I see no reason not to uh, just get it down there. Salvage 
Salvage secured. Credits deposited. Tether subjects are accepted for processing. Credits deposited. Seems to have worked a treat. Deposit accepted. This door is processor, but I might be happy to waste this. This piece is still not free. It is now. Right, I've got a big bit of processor here. This is still attached properly. Which is one of these um, wire looms keeping it stuck. Majority furnace. Object it's accepted only this for door. Credit deposited. Mm. 
Raw material process. Credits deposited. Processing valuable object. Credits awarded. before we start work on the cockpit. Material deposited. Let's get this in. Warning. No tethers remaining. Oh, crap. At the end of the day as well. But I hope that just goes in and doesn't fall the wrong side. Let's put a bow on this shift. Go on, into the furnace. Yes. Yep, looks like it. Warning. Oxygen reserves are critical. Raw material process. Credits deposited. Oxygen level stabilizing. Let's go. Last day, it's just the cockpit to go. We'll get that reactor out. Oh, look at that. It's nice that we get stickers from the company, you know. We're out here risking our lives. scientific studies behind financial no motivation for doing work, i.e. you know, compensation schemes and performance related pay. If the job is not cerebral in nature, if it's purely mechanical, like turning a handle, um, you can pay people a bonus for more turns of the handle and they will comply. They will do their best to do more work in order to obtain the bonus. But the papers I've read, as soon as there's some element of cognitive activity where you have to mentally process something, make decisions in order to get a positive outcome, then the payment of 
bonus money as a part of um, you know performance related pay often has the negative effect of um, slowing people down um, actually paying people for mental tasks paying people bonus money for mental tasks is counterproductive um, when you're looking at you know jobs in sales or in technical design or architecture or what have you it's very f common that companies pay performance related bonuses and um, it makes you wonder whether a company that actually just pays a higher basic salary would get better performance out of their information workers that's what the science suggests but it would be interesting to see if it works in practice I mean, all my life I've been in roles which technically should have had commissionable payments. So I've worked in pre-sales technical design, where it's very common for companies to try and incentivize the architecture team by paying them kind of a commission, if you like, sales bonuses for designing solutions that the customer wanted to buy but I've always fought against having commission because I think it makes you a bad designer you know if you're trying to decide between a low cost approach to a solution and one which um, is expensive I don't want to have to think about helmet damage detected Sure I don't want to have to think about whether I'm paying my mortgage by that decision because it could be that I'm making a bad decision for the solution for the customer just in order to take home more pay through my commission package. Does that make any kind of sense? I don't know. It's always something I've puzzled about through my career. I guess it doesn't matter now. I'm approaching my 50s and broadly speaking my career is uh, very much what it's going to be. Okay, so why have you not come apart? going to frustrate me. So this is a door that I can't cut through. I can cut through this bit. So that does no good. Anyway, that's philosophy corner over. I've tried to uh, tried to, to play true with the uh, science in matters of business, and it hasn't always worked out. Oxygen reserves are low. Reminder: asphyxiation can lead to missed salvage quotas. Oxygen level stabilizing. Right, how 
that's where I get these out. Seems likely, I just have to cut them out. hasn't come off properly. Uh, you out, you are out, we're good. Let's make how you want the sun shines. Material deposited. The ship is frustrating. I'm sure there's a way of just peeling this door out of here. If I can just spot weld it out of existence. is that if I take these corner pieces out, they might actually loosen up some of the sub-assembly here. I'm not sure it's going to. Um, it could be. around the door. Furnace, furnace, furnace. Furnace, furnace, furnace. Okay, most of this is furnace. There's a bit of processorable material there, but I don't think that's worth it. Let's just whack down the furnace. Alright, where did I put the rest of the uh, copper? Here we go. So what remains, I suspect, is furnace in the walls. Raw material process. Credits deposited. Now this is partly furnace. I'm going to put in the processor for the reactor bed. Because I think that's actually going to be relatively valuable. And the Object rest of this. Accepted. Please revisit your training. Yeah, so 300 grams, kilograms of reactor plate compared to a very little bit of uh, aluminium. Probably, yeah. Uh, I'm happy processing all of that.
Right, well that was a bit scrappy, wasn't it? Um, certainly adds up more of our 2% uh, allocation. Let me just finish this off, mister, please. Right. Right, that's us done today. Uh, I hope you enjoyed that, and I'll see you very soon. Take care. Goodbye. I fought with lions and wolves, but I've never fought myself before. It's over.